Welcome to chapter 6 of the Sicilian Dragon Masterclass, which is the classical system with bishop e2. As always, in the theory-based chapters of this masterclass, I've included the PGN of all of the moves that I'm about to show you in the description, so feel free to plug that into chess base, chessable, lee chess, and study your theory that way. Let's begin. So the Sicilian dragon, of course, as I've shown multiple times, starts like this with g6. Now here, we've already looked at a ton of their options. We've looked at the move f4, We've looked at uh, the Yugoslav attack with bishop e3 and then bishop to c4. We've looked at the Yugoslav attack with long castle instead. Um, we looked at the Fianchetto system with g3. And now we're looking at a very classical system, as you would have assumed by the name, which is bishop to e2. Now, this is the most non-confrontational opening, uh, an option that white can go for. They're just developing the bishop really calmly looking to castle and get out of the opening um, okay. And although this is a legitimate way to play for, for white, it's just not dangerous at all. And so I don't think you need to memorize the moves here um, 100%. I think as long as you know the general ideas, which are going to be really consistent with the other chapters, then you should be totally fine. Now here they have two options. They can castle after which uh, we continue by castling as well, or they can play bishop to e3 as well. Now, after bishop e3, we'll start by this one, we can castle. Let's say they go queen d2. This, they're playing a little bit weirdly. Uh, often they're going to castle. Here they're mixing ideas. They're playing this really soft move, bishop e2, and now they're going for this Yugoslav sort of structure. So if you've studied the Yugoslav chapters um, in depth, and you watch those videos, then you're going to be totally suited for this one. The only difference is they wasted a move. The bishop doesn't want to be here. In some cases, it's even going to waste a tempo moving away, and they get they didn't get the chance to go f3. So here we can continue immediately uh, if they just go for castles by knight to g4. And after takes, takes, and now f3, we drop the bishop back, and we have the two bishops. We have a fully opened diagonal the queen's coming out, the rook's coming in, b4, b5, I mean, this is a very, very good position for us. And so, mixing these ideas of going for bishop e2 and then the Yugoslav attack, which you probably will see at a lower level, just doesn't end up working. So, uh, I got that out of the way, let's focus on the main move, which is castles here. Now, we castle, now they go bishop e3, we go knight to c6, and let's say they go h3. They're trying to control this g4 square, kind of passing the move. Let's see how black is going to develop in these sort of positions. We can move our queen out in this position, something like queen to a5. Um, but I also like the very immediate uh, strike in the center with d5. And if they play really passively, bishop e2, short castles, h3, then there's no reason for us to just not take the initiative with d5. Now here, there's two options uh, that are main. They can take on d5, after which knight takes d5, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, and bishop to f3. I mean, taking here doesn't make a lot of sense. We can, for example, take the knight like this. We can also take with the pawn. Um, and so, and in these cases, the bishop is really open. So after um, d5, pawn takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes d5, the critical move is really bishop f3, but now we move the queen, for example, to a5, and as I've shown in other variations, namely the Fianchetto system, and you can kind of see how if you watch all the chapters and study all of the variations, um, they come together. And so in the Fianchetto system, their bishop had this open uh, diagonal, and they won a pawn. But now we play rook to b8, just as we played then, and we target this pawn. The other rook comes to d8, the benefit of the queen being here. And the bishop coming here, I mean, we have so much pressure in this position that it's really hard to play for white, uh, even though they have an extra pawn. So that's one way they can go about this position. Uh, a secondary way is to take the knight here first, and then take, and now we play knight takes, and basically just trading everything. Now, we can also take here with the queen and go into a position queenless. I personally prefer to keep the queens on the board, but that's really a, a personal decision for you. 
And here, I mean, this is a very pleasant position. There's no other way to, to put it. The bishop comes to f5. Both of the bishops are going to be monsters. And look at these open files. It's basically, this position is basically the Yugoslav attack, um, kind of messed up where their queen came to d5 and then we got these attacks, if you remember and recall that variation. The only difference is they don't have their attack at all. And I mean, it's just a one-sided affair here. And this is a I mean, just a very pleasant position to be in. And on top of that, of course, we have the center, which is something maybe you've kind of connected the dots. In many of these lines, we get full control in the center, something that is not characteristic in other openings for black. And that's basically all I need to talk about this variation with classic with the classical system bishop e2. It has a really fancy name. You probably will see it because it is classical, but it doesn't offer really any bite for white. The bishop really wants to be on c4. Realistically, they want to go for the attack. So playing the slow move bishop e2 just doesn't really work out well for them. And as I said, we just develop, play really naturally. The queen comes out, the bishop comes out somewhere in these sort of variations, and we get open files, whatever they do, whether they take. Uh, if they take here, we get this open b file. If they don't, we get this open c file. We have open files for our rooks. So hopefully this quick guide on the classical system will uh, really allow you to play against it no matter what rating you are. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Stay tuned for the continuation of this masterclass, and I will see you next time. Peace out.